um, to be able to leverage the excellent work that has been done. And the partnership is between DCC and the University of California Curation Center. With this, I really want to express our appreciation and con congratulations to DCC to reach this important milestone. Our connection with DCC, as uh, mentioned earlier, started in 2014 with the University of Alberta first started to investigate the different options um, that is available to help us with the research data management planning for the institution. Um, in the summer of 2014, we launched the DMP Builder based on the code base of DMP Online version 4. It was our first project that was based on Ruby on Rails. So a few of us, um, Java de uh, developers and me, a librarian, scratched our head. <laughs> and, and with the help from DCC's developers, we were able to make, make the needed customization and the implementation configurations to get the service off the ground in a few months. A few months later, uh, as mentioned by Jeff, uh, spearheaded by Chuck Humphrey, the research data management service coordinator at UFA at the time, uh, Carl or the Canadian Association of, of Research Libraries launched the Portage Network Initiative. So this national effort is really trying to uh, address that uh, gap uh, in national research data management infrastructure in Canada. So University of Alberta's DMP builder at the time was uh, identified to be expanded to a national platform and it was renamed as um, DMP assistant. Um, so this was the first RDM service offered by the Vertage uh, Network Initiative. To prepare for the launch of DMP assistant we have identified several critical enhancements, uh, including an umbrella portage network curation template. Uh, we wanted to have bilingual support for both the interface and the templates. Uh, we would like to have institutional level of customization and branding, among some other smaller features that make the tool more suitable for the Canadian RDM landscape. And as mentioned earlier, that any open development project is indeed a collective effort from the entire community. So the enhancement that we were able to make and develop were contributed back to the D, uh, DCC code base. Um, some of those I know that was incorporated into DMP online version four, and I believe there may be some still small portions of that um, moved their way into the DMP roadmap, which we were um, quite proud of as our first Ruby on Rail kind of endeavor uh, and, and development. In 2017, I was invited to attend the machine actionable DMP planning session and IDCC that year at University of Edinburgh. It was a great pleasure to meet everyone at DCC in person, um, but it was great to sit in that uh, strategic planning session uh, at the development meeting, understand the future direction of the collaboration between the two organizations, DCC and uh, UC3 at the time, and be part of the discussion for the sustainable development plan for DMP uh, roadmap. In 2015, um, as uh, Jeff mentioned, DMP expert group was formed to, pr to provide guidance and develop that Canadian DMP strategies. Uh, the group have since developed all sorts of documentation to support the platform. We develop exemplar DMPs to support the research community. There has been a few iterations over the years, but one thing that has been emerged um, for DMP assistant as a national service, because it's continued to grow, uh, we need, or Protage Network need to build a better service model to be more responsive and proactive in addressing the community need. Um, as mentioned by Jeff, in 2019, Protage Network has received, first received the funding from Canary, uh, 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 a non-for-profit organization provides national backbone network of Canada's national research and education network. With the funding, not only we were able to establish a service manager position for the DMPS services. Robin um, was actually just joined us not too long ago and I saw her on the call earlier. Um, so 
uh, she, uh, we, we now have a service manager position to manage a service to provide to uh, our Can uh, Canadian research communities. We were able to uh, connect with DCC and uh, have a contract with them um, to dedicate it. And also we have a dedicated full-time developer on our end to move forward with the DMP roadmap migration project. The majority of the work has already been completed. Thanks for the ama amazing team particular Sam at DCC to help us move forward. We had just recently completed the beta testing of DMP Assistant 2.0 and plan to launch the service in mid-December. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> we have also just recently um, put out a call for community members, researchers, and other stakeholders like funding agencies uh, representative to join the DMP Assistant Advisory Committee this is really exciting, a long overdue movement for many RDM uh, practitioners uh, in Canada. We really hope that this new platform, uh, the supporting documentation we're developing, training tutorials, exemplary DMPs, will all be placed before the release of the tri-agency uh, funding, uh, uh, tri-agency research data management policy to be released. So this was our first iteration of the DMP assistant. And this is our new um, DMP um, assistant point 2.0. It's probably familiar to many of you because we didn't do much uh, customization on the interface. We just carried on uh, with a great um, interface that has already been designed. So in terms of future roadmap, um, in 2020, Portage Network has received funding from NDOs, uh, as mentioned by Jeff, the new digital research infrastructure organization has just been established in 2019, is a Canadian organization um, to advance establishment of research focused, accountable, agile, strategic and sustainable digital research infrastructure ecosystem for Canadian researchers. Uh, the current funding cycles that we have uh, runs from October this year to March 2021. So during this phase, we will continue to complete the DMP Assistant 2.0 migration. We'll work on some high priority enhancements. Um, we wanted to sta stabilize the service map model that we have just started to introduce to the community. And with the establishment of the new advisory committee, we wanted to identify future priorities. Uh, we anticipate that the tri-agency research data uh, management policy will be released this year. And um, we wanted to um, take advantage or really uh, uh, promote DMP assistant as uh, the two is a recommendation mentioned in this policy. Uh, we anticipate there will be a big influx of service requests coming to us in, in the next year after this uh, policy is released. With a new advisory committee, we hope to define the future strategic directions and enhancement for the DMP assistant as a platform and as a national service. Uh, some focus work uh, for the next phase is that we wanted to continue to develop a discipline specific exemplar uh, DMPs uh, with uh, engagement from disciplinary experts um, from the community. We also are aimed to have some indigenous researchers or researchers with some indigenous perspective on the advisory group to help us develop a more inclusive DMP practice uh, for Canadian um, uh, RDM um, activities. Um, and now we will be on DMP roadmap code base soon. We wanted to identify integration opportunities with research systems and tools to leverage the power of the machine actionable DMPs, a project that I have been talking about for a few years, and I think it's going to be finally enabled by this, is to have a Canadian RD, uh, DMP repository uh, so that we can harvest the DMP from um, DMP assistant and to allow better discovery of DMPs to support the Canadian research community. Um, Hopefully with the current phase of NDO funding, we hope we can provide a little bit more development power uh, at UFA. 
um, we're hoping that we can collaborate with DD DCC to and the, the community decide um, some, some features that could benefit both uh, us and the community and to further our uh, collective RDM goals. Again, uh, I want to thank you all for inviting me and give me this opportunity to congratulate you and for the 10 years of amazing achievement that RDC has done for the global um, RDM landscape. And I'm looking forward to the next decade of the collaboration and more great achievement from you and uh, congratulations. <laughs>